Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I really need to organise all my makeup. It is like a mess. My drawers are just, I have a mascara in the top drawer, the third drawer and the fifth drawer. It's just, it needs organising just so it looks better. And then it's actually easier for me to find my products, do my makeup, and then it'll just make a bit more sense. So yeah, today we are organising my makeup collection. Okay, so I went to Dunelm Mill and I bought like loads of different trays that I think will fit my drawers. So this is the first size that I got, that kind of size. Then I got a few longer, thinner ones. I thought maybe you could put compacts kind of in them that way or like lip products. And I bought one deeper one, which I think will only fit in my bottom two drawers. I thought maybe for like skincare bits in that one but i only bought one of the big ones i bought how many of these one two three four five six of them and then one two three four five six seven of the that seems quite a few because i only have five drawers oh well oh well we'll just see how they all fit so i got all these from donnell mill they came in pink white and gray but obviously i had to get pink but i'll show you the current state of my drawers and then we can get organising and just make it better. This is my current makeup setup. This is my dresser where I do all my makeup. So I've got my makeup brushes there, my mirror there, just some cotton pads there and my perfume all there. So I have the Alex 5 drawers just from Ikea. So the top drawer, it's a bit of a mess, but it has bronzers, blushes, highlighters in there foundations concealers there beauty blenders there i think they're all mascaras and then they're just random new bits of makeup that i just haven't put away and then the second drawer is just a uh, setting spray eyebrow stuff like liquid eyeshadows it's just all a mess and these are all primers and just face bits there and then some cotton buds at the back drawer number three oh it's a mess so I've got like moisturisers, deodorants, face masks, micellar waters. Oh, and then under here, on my lip products. This drawer's a real, a real mess. And then drawer number four. This is supposed to be my palette drawer, but as you can see, I've got some makeup removing stuff thrown in there, a mirror, some lip balms. So it needs a organize okay so the last drawer is a drawer i use at least often it has kind of like these are all hand creams some little perfumes and it's kind of like hair stuff at the back and like body butters body creams and just random stuff oh, see it's that full it needs a good sort out so yeah that was the before of all my makeup and its current situation okay so i'm gonna do the top drawer first and I kind of want to get my bronzers, powders and highlighters separated so they're all in their own little compartment. And then I'm not, I don't think I have enough concealers to have a separate space for concealers so I might just keep my foundations and concealers together. But I need to empty it all out first and then find a home for the new makeup as well because that doesn't all belong in this drawer. Okay, so I'm thinking maybe foundations and concealers, bronzers, blush. Oh, I was hoping that would have worked. Um, foundation, highlighters, bronzers, blush, that would work. I'll start filling and see how this goes. Okay, so, so far I've done, so these are my individual highlighters. And I only have two individual blushes, most of mine are in palettes. So 
I've kind of done highlight is this side then my liquid highlighters and like liquid blushes in between to separate them so that's kind of highlight blusher that's all my powders and then bronzers here so far that's all my foundations and I'm just thinking I might just chuck in my concealers with them I think because I feel like if they're in a tray of their own they might look a bit empty but I'm thinking that looks better in the tubs oh wait I've got another this is a highlighter this can go in there and then that's a new concealer but I'll keep that in its packaging so I think that for now I might change it but I'm happy with that for now for draw number one okay so I've taken my mascaras out from draw number one so I'm hoping they'll go in this drawer somewhere but I'm going to start by emptying it. So they're my setting sprays. Just some random combos. Oh, and I also took out my beauty blenders from drawer number one. Hoping that I can get more into this one. Okay, so I'm thinking I need one for mascara. Eyebrows. Setting sprays, primers, um, I just wish, no, Okay, so we've got setting sprays, eyebrows, mascaras, and primers here. But I might have to put eyeliners in with mascaras, just at that end. And then I still haven't got a home for my beauty blenders. They might just have to wait. I'll put my little lash glue in there as well. And then I have like my sharpener that can just go with my eyeliners. And then this face brush can just sit down there for now. But then I also have these like liquidy eyeshadows and like pressed pigments and stuff. Um, I don't really want to put them in there. We'll come back to them in the, in the beauty blenders. So for now that is draw two. I think I'm happy with that one. Yeah. This is the worst draw. This really is the worst draw. So it's meant to be skincare and lips and just, ugh. So that's kind of meant to be my everyday skincare, but I can see there's other stuff in there. That is then on my lip products. This back one is supposed to be my cellar waters and apparently body sprays and these are all meant to be kind of face masks and stuff like that and perfume so that's hair care that should be in the bottom drawer I'll just see if this big drop We might put moisturisers and deodorants in there. So let's say that's for that. We'll put lips in there. And then I might just put oh my cellar waters. They can go in there. Then I'll just put maybe sheet masks down the side of my drawers. Mm. 
Let's see how it goes. Okay, so, so far I've kind of got my moisturizers, deodorants and eye creams there. The stuff that I use every day. Lip glosses, lipsticks, lip liners and some lip balms in there. Then here I've kind of got like all my micellar waters and bits in there. Then I also then need to get in all like my face, like face masks and stuff, which is going to be difficult. But I'll try. I think that's an improvement yeah so we've got face masks all kind of down the side and some slightly on top of my micellar waters lip products skincare yeah oh no i missed a big one um just it's not perfect but it's better and at least it's in cute pink trays oh summits this one's gonna have to lie down, if it will. Oh, I forgot about them. See, they should really be in the drawer above because they're makeup wipes. I'll come back to them, but this should all be palettes, but I've also got lip balms. I do keep my mirror in there because I only really use that when I do eyeshadow. But, ugh. okay, so I'm gonna have to start by just attempting to empty all of this. There's quite a few. And I kind of want to have like maybe face palettes, then eyeshadow palettes, maybe. Or if not most used, then least used towards the back. Okay, so this is the current situation. It's pretty much just a neater version of what it did look like. So I've kind of got like my least used like eyeshadow palettes at the back and some individual kind of eyeshadows took down here in the corner. And then I've got kind of my new eyeshadow palettes that I need to use a bit more. Then I've got some highlighting palettes. And these two are my favorite face palettes that I use all the time. So this one is blush and then bronzer and then i've also got my two favorite eyeshadow palettes ever my huda by nines they just live down there so all my like favorite things are kind of down here so i can oh like they don't fit perfectly that's annoying oh there we go so all my like things that i use all the time and i love are down here for easy access and newer things i kind of want to get more use out of and then less use eyeshadow at the back. So it's kind of just a neater version of before, but I kind of want one of them like acrylic holders for palettes, that would be nice, but not at the moment. So yeah, that's drawer number four on my palettes. Okay, so this drawer is just kind of a shit tip, to be honest. So I've got like body lotions, body sprays, hair care products, big moisturizers, little perfumes and a bag of hand creams. It's just awful. So I need emptying first to see what I've actually got. I 
and then I can go from there. Okay, so it's already looking pretty full, but I've just got... You know when it's just random stuff, but you don't want to get rid of it, but you don't have a... Oh, God. You don't have a proper home for it, like... All my perfumes are on my top of my dresser, but then these are so little, they just, I just clutter it up. And it's like body sprays. Where am I going to put body sprays? Oh, that's a big hand cream that can go there. And then like a little body oil that can just sit in there. Um, that'll be too tall, stood up. That's my hair stuff, but it's already looking full. I might just put what I can down the side. I know it's then not perfect. That's leaked a bit, but I need to keep it. Oh, so that's hair. Sorry, it's falling out. Oh, that's a big body lotion. Oh, what's that? Elasticizer. Oh no, that's like falling. Ugh. Too much stuff. Oh, another one. Okay, that'll just have to go somewhere else. Because that's my eczema cream, so I have eczema. Oh, that's hair care. That needs to go in. Oh no. Oh, this is just overflowing into each other now. Will that close? It will. Do I have anything else to go in there? No. Okay, so I got through all my drawers, but I never found a home for my beauty blender. So I think they're just gonna have to live in this little kind of gap along the front here, which I know isn't perfect, but that'll have to do. So you can't even see my bronzers, but they're there. So I am happy with drawer number one. It's definitely my favourite drawer, but I still haven't got a home for these. These are kind of like little eyeshadowy bits. I'm thinking, I can't like fit it in. I might just put them in with eyeliners. That I'll put in with eyeshadows, because that's a pressed pigment. That can go over there. Okay, so I'll just run through the end results. Draw number one. That is definitely my favourite draw. Draw number two. Apart from the shimmy back a bit, but I like that draw as well. Number three isn't perfect, but just too much stuff. And number four, my pellets, which I do wish could stand up. And number five isn't perfect either, but I mean, it's better than it was. Okay, guys, so I hope you enjoyed watching my little makeup organisation video. Hopefully it stays like that for a while. I don't have to fix it and sort it out. So if you did enjoy, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.